Hunting seasons are underway in Wyoming, and while the majority of Wyoming residents show a respect for the laws, culture, and tradition of hunting in the state, inevitably there will be those who give over to temptation and illegally take wildlife. Officials with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department say the number of cases involving illegal take of wildlife from the field stays more or less consistent from year to year. The vast majority of poaching incidents game wardens investigate are of individuals that simply make a mistake, an unintentional violation. But then there are other more serious violations, typically due to greed, bragging rights, or even the opportunity to resell big trophy-type heads. In any event, poaching is simply theft from hunters who follow the law and who, through their license fees, time, and effort spent pursuing big game, end up being denied opportunities by those whose ethics are lacking. And for hunters who drew or who are trying to draw one of Wyoming's tougher-to-get tags, a poached moose or bighorn sheep could potentially mean less opportunity to the law-abiding hunters and may even impact future quotas. But perhaps most outrageous is wanton destruction. That's when wildlife are senselessly shot and left to waste. While such cases are actually rare, they do happen, and it can be costly to those who get caught. Fines of up to $10,000, loss of hunting and fishing privileges, possible forfeiture of guns, vehicles, or other equipment used in the commission of the crime, and the possibility of paying restitution to the state. By using the Stop Poaching tip line, using the department's social media outlets, or calling local game wardens directly, the people who recreate outdoors or who hear of poaching incidents, even if it's secondhand, are often the best chance game wardens have to solve poaching cases. With a state as vast as Wyoming is, the public is a valuable and needed tool to protect the hunting opportunities law-abiding sportsmen deserve. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.